Oh, 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 boys. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Russ. So, since I already reacted to Kill Yourself by Bo Burnham, Bo Burnham, well, Bo Burnham, today I'm going to be reacting to George Carlin, Religion is Bullshit, since George Carlin is another comedian that I like. So let's see what this is about, shall we? But in the bullshit department, in the bullshit department, a businessman can't hold a candle to a clergyman. Because I gotta tell you the truth, folks. I gotta tell you the truth. Okay. When it comes to bullshit, big time, major league bullshit, you have to stand in awe. In awe of the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. No contest. No contest. <laughs> Not one lie was told. Religion easily has the greatest bullshit story ever told. Think about it. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a special list of ten things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these ten things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke and burning and torture and anguish where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you. <laughs> Very hypocritical. Very hypocritical. Very hypocritical. He loves you and he needs money. Yes, he does. He always needs money. He's all powerful, all perfect, all knowing, and all wise. Somehow, just can't handle money. Neither can I. Religion takes in billions of dollars. They pay no taxes, and they always need a little more. Now, you talk about a good bullshit story. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank, you. Well, thank you very much. But I want you to know, I want you to know something. This is sincere. I want you to know, okay. when it comes to believing in God, I really tried. I really, really tried. I tried to believe that there is a God who created each of us in his own image and likeness, loves us very much, and keeps a close eye on things. I really tried to believe that, but I got to tell you, the longer you live, the more you look around, the more you realize something is fucked up. Exactly. Something is wrong here. War, disease, death, destruction, hunger, filth, poverty, torture, crime, corruption, and the ice capades. The ice capades. <laughs> something is definitely wrong. This is not good work. If this is the best God can do, I am not impressed. Results like these do not belong on the resume of a supreme being. Nope. This is the kind of shit you don't. expect from an office temp with a bad attitude. Office in, between you and me, in between you and me, in any decently run universe, this guy would have been out on his all-powerful ass a long time ago. And by the way, I say this guy okay. because I firmly believe, looking at these results, that if there is a God, it has to be a man. Why? No woman could or would ever <laughs> fuck things up like this. <sighs> That is true. If, if there is a God, if there is, I think most reasonable people might agree that he's at least incompetent and maybe, yep. just maybe, doesn't give a shit. Doesn't give he a don't. shit. Which I admire in a person and which would explain a lot of these bad results. So rather than be just another mindless religious robot, mindlessly and, and aimlessly and blindly believing that all of this is in the hands of some spooky, incompetent father figure who doesn't give a shit, I decided to look around for something else to worship. Something I could really count on. And all right. immediately, I thought of the sun. Happened like the that. What? Overnight, I became a sun worshiper. Uh, well, not what? Overnight, you can't see sun the sun wor at night. Yeah, no First shit. First thing the next morning, I became a oh, sun worshiper. Oh my gosh. Several reasons. First of all, I can see the sun, okay? 
Unlike some other gods I could mention, I can actually see the sun. I'll think on that. If I can see something, I don't know, kind of helps the credibility along, you know? Yeah. So every day I can see the sun as it gives me everything I need. Heat, light, food, flowers in the park, reflections on the lake, and occasional skin cancer. But hey, at least there are no crucifixions, and we're not setting people on fire simply because they don't agree with us. Sun worship True. is fairly simple. There's no mystery, no miracles, no pageantry, no one asks for money, there are no songs to learn, and we don't have a special building where we all gather once a week to compare clothing. And the best thing, the best thing about the sun, it never tells me I'm unworthy. It doesn't tell me no, I'm it a doesn't. bad person who needs to be saved, hasn't said an unkind word, treats me fine. So, because the sun, but it's I part of the earth. The sun. Know why? I wouldn't presume on our friendship. It's not polite. <laughs> I often thought people treat God rather. Nobody prays to praying to the sun doesn't make any sense. Of prayers so. every day, asking and pleading and begging for favors. Do this, give me that. I need a new car. I want a better job. And most of this praying takes place on Sunday, his day off. Uh, it's yeah. Not nice. And it's no way to treat a friend. Right. But people do pray, and they pray for a lot of different things. You know, your sister needs an operation on her crotch. <laughs> your brother was arrested for defecating in a mall. What? But most of all, you'd really like to fuck that hot little redhead down at the convenience store. You know, the one with the at the convenience the store. Door. The iPad. Do you pray for that? I think you'd have to. The foolery. Pray for anything. The foolery. Pray for anything. But what about the divine plan? Remember that? The divine plan. Long time ago, God made a divine plan. Gave it yes, a lot of he thought, did. Decided it was a good plan, put it into practice. And for billions and billions of years, the divine plan has been doing just fine. Now you come along and pray for something. Well, suppose the thing you want isn't in God's divine plan. What do you want him to do? Change his plan? Just for you? Doesn't it seem a little arrogant? It's a divine plan. What's the use of being God if every rundown schmuck with a two-dollar prayer book can come along and fuck up your plan? And here's something else, another problem you might have. Suppose your prayers aren't answered. Mm. What do you say? Well, it's God's will. Thy will be done. Fine. Thy will but be it's done. it's God's will, and he's going to do what he wants to anyway, why the fuck bother praying in the first place? Seems like a big waste of time to me. Yes. Couldn't you just yes. skip the praying part and go right to his will? It's all very confusing. So to get it's all nonsense. This, I decided to worship the sun. But as I said, I don't pray to the sun. You know who I pray to? Who? Joe Pesci. What? Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. What? Two reasons. First of all, I think he's a good actor, okay? I he do also. Counts. Second, he looks like a guy who can get things done. Joe yeah, Pesci he does. Doesn't fuck around. I have to give him that. He, he does. Around. In fact, in fact, Joe Pesci came through on a couple of things that God was having trouble with. For like what? To ask God to do something about my noisy neighbor with the barking dog. Joe Pesci straightened that cocksucker out with one visit. It's amazing what you can accomplish with a barking simple dog. baseball bat. What? So I've been praying to Joe for about a year. Went over now. there with a baseball bat. What did he do? And I noticed something. Bash I the noticed door in. All the prayers I used to offer to God and all the prayers I now offer to Joe Pesci are being answered at about the same 50% rate. Half the time I get what I want, half the time I don't. Same as God, 50 50. Same as the four leaf clover in the horseshoe, the wishing well in the rabbit's foot. Same as the mojo man. Same as the voodoo lady who tells you your fortune by squeezing the goat's testicles. It's all what? the same. 50 50. So just pick your superstition, sit back, the goat's make a wish, testicles. and enjoy yourself. And for those of you who look to the Bible for all moral right. uh, lessons and literary qualities, I might suggest a couple of other stories for you. Uh, you might want to look at the three little pigs. That's a good one. Has a nice happy ending. I'm sure you'll like that. Then there's Little I, Riding Hood, although it does have a traded part with a big dad children's who stories. The grandmother, which I didn't care for, by the way. And finally, I've often always I didn't care for either. A deal of moral comfort from Humpty Dumpty. The Humpty like the Dumpty. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's because there is classic no nursery rhyme. There is no God. None. Period. Not one. No God, 
never was. Period. Fact. Period, I'm period, gonna, period. I'm going to put it this way. If there is a God, if there is a God, may he strike this audience dead. Foolish. See, Foolish. Happened. Nothing happened. Everybody's okay. Right. Yep. Tell you what. Point proven. Tell you what. I'll raise the stakes. I'll raise the stakes a little bit. If there is a God, may he strike me dead. See? Nothing happened. Oh, wait. Got a little cramp in my leg. <laughs> and my balls hurt. What? Plus, I'm blind. Oh. oh now I'm okay again. Must have oh, been Joe my. Pesci, huh? Thank you all very much. Oh. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good old George Carlin. Jesus. So that was George Carlin. Religion is bullshit. If you guys would like me to continue reacting to more George Carlin, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe. And I'll try to look for more things to react to. Peace out.